Hello, and good morning. My name is Philip Winchester here today from the International News Station. Today we'll be discussing the devolutionary forces that are occurring in Crimea, a major land mass that is almost completely surrounded by water. Alongside me today is the Vladimir Putin, the current president of Russia. Hello, Vladimir. How are you doing today? Thank you for having me, Philip. No problem. No problem. So, um, let's just, let's just start this off. Tell us who is involved in the conflict. Um, Russia, Ukraine, Crimea, those are the countries that are involved in this major conflict. Okay. Okay. And um, tell our viewers out there, what are some of the factors that are driving these devolutionary forces to occur? There are many factors. Um, first of all, Crimea was a part of Russia until it was transferred to Ukraine. Also, the majority of the people in Crimea are Russian. They speak our language and share our customs. They also have historical ties with us, and it makes sense that they should stay with you, with Russia. Understandable. Um, when did this all occur? Uh, this occurred around the early uh, early parts of 2014. Okay, so not very long yet. No. Do the people of Crimea want to become part of Russia? Uh, Crimea want to, they really want to break away from Ukraine and join Russia, so yes, yes. So they want to become, okay. Yeah, they voted to, uh, to leave and come to Russia, but they fear. They fear they're going to get in trouble with the Ukraine police. And who in Crimea is fearing joining Russia? Uh, specifically, it was the Tartars they fear joining Russia. Tartars. Okay. Um, how did Russia originally claim Crimea? Uh, it was during the Russian Empire, during the region of Catherine, Catherine the Great in 1783. Okay. Um, Population-wise... How many people are currently living in Crimea? Approximately 2 million people are living in Crimea to this day. And out of how many of those people consider themselves Russian that live in Crimea? An actual big 60% of those people think wow. they're from Russia. Wow. Okay. Um, what are the other ethnicities that are in Crimea? Uh, in Crimea, there's there's many, many different cultures and customs. Uh, mainly it's the Ukrainians who tend to feel closer uh, to the Crimean Tartars. Okay. Um, can you explain what a Crimean Tartar Tatar is and what their importance is? Um, well, these Tartars they're they're mainly Muslim religion, mm -hmm. and uh, they claim to have suffered in Russia way back in the 1930s from the Russian government. They were forced to leave Crimea in the 1940s. Only some of them have returned, so they, they really don't like the Russian government. Okay, they, they don't like the government. Um, can you explain why they were forced to leave Crimea? Um, well, they were accused of collaborating with uh, German occupiers, so we think that they were uh, trying to take down the Russian government and the Russian people. Okay. And uh, the Russian government would not tolerate at tolerate that time, so they needed to be removed from the country. Makes sense. Okay, so where were they deported to? Um, they were deported to Central Asia and Siberia. And did they survive in those places? Um, unfortunately, not many of them survived there. Um, were they ever allowed to return? Um, in fact, yes, they were. They were allowed to return uh, when the Soviet Union collapsed. However, many of them decided to go to the independent Ukraine instead of going back to Russia. And how many of those people went to the independent Ukraine? Um, about 250,000. Okay, so a good amount of people. Uh, did those people do well in Ukraine? Um, no, not really. It was a big struggle for them. Many of them faced high employment rates and poor housing conditions. They also made themselves an unofficial parliament while they were there. And did anyone ever attempt to help the Crimean Tartars? Yes, the Mihils. And what, were the, what was their purpose? Uh, their purpose was to promote the rights and the interests of Crimean Tartars. It was a huge help to them. It gave them a voice they didn't have before. And when exactly cr was Crimea transferred to Ukraine? Uh, Crimea was transferred to U Ukraine in 1954. And who was the leader of the Soviets at this time? Uh, Nikita Khrushchev was the leader of the Soviets at the time. Okay, so let's come back to modern time and Let's discuss why Russia would want Crimea besides cultural region, reasons. Uh, Crimea has an exceptional agriculture, public infrastructure, and tourism. Also, the port of Sivaspol is a major naval base and has been home to the Black Sea Fleet since Soviet times. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the fleet was divided between Russia and Ukraine. 
the continuing presence of the Russian mm -hmm. fleet in Sivaspol has been a focus of attention. Interesting. Um, next, what did Russia do to try and get back Crimea? Um, we've occupied several Ukrainian military bases. Crimea has voted to be a part of Russia, but this has been deemed illegal. Oh. Uh, President Obama and the European Union has placed sanctions on Russia. Okay. Um, now, would you consider this devol devolutionary force to be successful? Yes. Crimea is not completely a part of Russia yet. However, it seems that it will never return to Ukraine. Crimea was officially annexed by us on March 18th, 2014. Thank you. Thank you for having. Thank you for coming. Oh, um, thank you for having me. It was very interesting talking to you, and I hope to talk to you another time. Yeah, it was a good time. Thank you.